Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this particular tutorial series, we are looking into the concept of map guideline and how to use map guideline in MATLAB. In this particular chapter, we will be starting to look into the state flow aspect of the map guideline and the first part we will be seeing is chart appearance. So let's get started with the same. So coming to the chart appearance, how it should be is like suppose you have a chart at the top level. So whatever the ports that are connected to it. So suppose this is the input port and this is the output port then in this case whatever the name of the input signal that you have should be the should be the same signal uh, which you define inside this chart so if you define some signal inside the chart as a input then it should have the same name as the input signal same applies for the output so if you define something as an output inside the state chart then in that case your output signal should have the same name as the state chart so this is just to avoid confusion and also follow the map guideline next is the transitions so whenever you are creating any transition it should not be crossing each other so if you cross the transitions so in that case the drag the diagram will become very confusing and in that case will be becoming very difficult to see uh, which signal is going where next is uh, default transition so as you already know the default transition could be the transition which is conditional or an unconditional transition so suppose you have a um, you have a, a state chart and in that you have multiple default transitions so in the default transition like as you can see over here here. this is the first default transition and this is the second default transition and this is the third default transition then in this case at least one of the transitions should be unconditional otherwise uh, the state chart will not get activated so suppose in this case we can choose the first transition first default transition to be unconditional so the remaining we can keep conditions and that will be the default transition for the state chart so that is mentioned over here and uh, suppose uh, now coming to the next concept suppose you want to create a sub chart and uh, like you have a parent state and you have a child state so this is the parent state and this is the child state so this is the child state and this is the parent state using the uh, child and parent state uh, you cannot have only one child under the parent so there should not be only one state you should have multiple states inside the uh, parent so that is uh, a good practice to follow next is uh, coming to the flowchart and uh, how the flowchart should be organized that is the uh, key point over here so if you see the flowchart the flowchart starts point is this one and the end point is this one always a flowchart should be from uh, top to bottom so the direction of flowchart should be from top to bottom so this indicates how the signal flows in a flowchart and whenever you are defining any condition so it should be defined on the horizontal bar that is there present in the flowchart so here you can define the condition and in the vertical you better define the actions and you keep the last bar which is uh, this one as empty improves the visibility inside the flowchart where you are implementing the conditions and where you are implementing your actions next uh, next concept is related to again flowchart so if you see over here in the bottom flowchart here we are comparing two two conditions so here there are two conditions b equal to equal to zero and c equal to equal to zero so suppose b and c are the two inputs that is coming inside the state flowchart so in that case you will have uh, these conditions comparing so you will have the uh, conditions in horizontal and you will have the accents in uh, the vertical lines so here you are doing some assignment inside the um, variable d and then you are giving d as the output but suppose you want to have a as the output then uh, you cannot write in this particular line a equal to d because it is not allowed so here we cannot assign anything at the end of the chart or end of the flow chart so here uh, you should keep it empty as always also here as you can see so whenever you are defining any transition as default transition inside the flowchart then it is better to use the transition that are falling directly from one junction to another direction compared to the conditional way so this is better practice to follow the default transition in this way for any flowchart here also you can see this is the default transition 
so so coming to this concept you cannot do the assignment of this one at this level if you want to do the assignment you can do it at this level but you should not do it at this level coming to the next concept related to the default transition so as you can see this is the state chart and you have a state in which uh, you have the default transition so the state always receives the default transition from the top level so the state should always have a default transition which is from the top level it should not come from this direction so that is uh, a guideline that is there in the map guideline next uh, coming to the uh, flow chart uh, again um, if you do call any function and uh, like here suppose you have a test function then in that case you you need to have the outcome like suppose temp is a variable and test is giving some output suppose uh, with that output you are doing some operation over here and then you are directly doing a comparison like whether temp equal to equal to uh, temp minus test equal to equal to 1 so this is uh, not uh, giving a better clarity why because whatever the outcome of this particular operation if it is uh, not clear like what it is giving as the output then it will create ambiguity so in that case uh, like what is the general practice whatever the function that you are executing uh, with the operation like here you are not getting directly the outcome of the function but you are doing some operation and you are getting some outcome uh, you are getting some outcome so you can store it in a variable and then you can do determination of the condition whether it is equal to one or not in this case so that gives a more clarity and uh, it is not uh, recommended to use uh, directly this particular statement inside this one just to have a more clarity on how the logic should be running so these are all the concepts related to the chart appearance mm. We hope we uh, made this uh, simpler and uh, more understandable. In the coming videos, we will be seeing the other um, concept related to the state flow. So stay subscribed to the channel, stay updated to the channel. Happy learning MATLAB. Have a great day ahead. Thank you and stay connected. Mm -hmm.